G'day, this is Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I want to have a little bit of a chat about development hardware and I thought we'd start with monitors um, as you can see uh, my desktop here is quite large I actually have three monitors uh, let's go into display settings and we see the, the primary display is um, a 30 inch uh, 2560 by 1600 monitor. It's a Dell uh, 30 inch monitor. Um, it's over 10 years old now, so it's it's showing its age, but it's still quite a nice screen. Um, and two uh, monitors, 20 inch monitors, which are um, 1600 by 1200 um, in portrait mode. And um, the reason I've, I've done that is they're actually uh, the pixels are very closely uh, um, in size uh, so that um, the desktop actually does look like this so that the the side monitors actually uh, match up almost perfectly so as I move my mouse across it doesn't jump around uh, not you'd notice that uh, watching it virtually um, so uh, typically I'd have you know some web page and I might have Spotify or something like that on on the side uh, and of course uh, Delphi um, uh, in the middle so uh, let's just focus on the uh, the main screen um, so let's uh, zoom in. As you can see, I have quite a lot of uh, screen area available for code. Um, I, I check my messages on the side uh, and have um, you know all the all the um, sort of panels on the left-hand side usually, uh, and um, this makes the maximum uh, height for code. Um, the text might look a bit small to you, but uh, that's because it's uh, being scaled down. Um, it's, it's perfectly readable on on um, uh, physically and uh, yeah so um, I'd, I'd encourage anyone to get a uh, large monitor um, either 4k or something sim similar to this the 2560 by 1600 you can pick them up uh, fairly cheap on eBay um, and if you're only only using one monitor um, then you know go out and buy buy more uh, they're really cheap um, and if it only makes a, a fraction of a percentage in um, in your coding performance uh, improvement, um, then it'll pay itself off in no time. Uh, so yeah, and you can pretty much see this 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 uh, bar is set at 120 characters. So I've I can probably fit um, I don't know about 300 or something uh, characters across the screen. I should probably have a few extra sort of panels of useful information uh, on the screen. Um, so yeah, so basically, uh, you should be uh, have, you should have at least two monitors. I'd recommend three or as many as you can plug into your uh, into your computer that that'll fit onto your desk. Uh, and having a, a large primary monitor is, is quite nice. Um, at home, I have a a 4K screen, but it's it's only 28 inches, and um, so I have the uh, DPI setting to uh, you know 125% scaling, which doesn't quite work perfectly with Delphi, but it's it's not bad. Um, other than that, uh, there's, uh, let's um, bring up the task manager. And in terms of uh, sort of CPU, if you look at performance, um, I've got a um, an 8-core Xeon, so six, 16 hardware threads. Um, it's an older Xeon, uh, which I picked up on uh, AliExpress, uh, pretty cheap. And also got a cheap motherboard from AliExpress, um, an X79 motherboard. Uh, and it pretty much um, pretty pretty inexpensive. I picked up some used uh, DDR3 memory on uh, on TradeMe, which is the local eBay here in New Zealand, um, for a ridiculously cheap price because uh, it was ECC RAM, and that's uh, there's not a lot of motherboards that, that take it for um, you know usually have to have a server or something like that. So it's you know 16 gig RAM. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend you have at least eight. Uh, you know things like Chrome and what have you tend to uh, take up a huge quantity. I've only got a couple of tabs open at the moment, so uh, often it can be a couple of gig of, of, of RAM with uh, just web browsing alone. Um, and of course, Delphi can take up, depending on the size of the project. This, is, this one's quite small. It's just a um, I'm porting a VCL app to Android, a rather substantial VCL app. Um, I'm just seeing how how well I can do. Um, so I've used. Um, uh, the MITRE converter 
uh, and you can see some, some some leftover code which I need to, to uh, filter out but it's uh, it's working pretty good um, so yeah in terms of the your uh, CPU you probably want at least an i5 um, but I, I'd recommend some sort of i7 um, typically with um, if you're doing uh, Delphi is not particularly multi-threaded so um, you can get away with only having a few number of cores um, but you know the more the merrier and um, having high performance cores uh, of course you know uh, an SSD is uh, pretty much a requirement these days um, I've had to go back to using uh, mechanical hard drives a couple of times with some test machines and uh, it's a very painful experience um, so you definitely want uh, a, a good um, good SSD. I mean, this one's getting a little bit old, but it's a, um, you know, a Samsung Evo, which are, are quite nice. And then I just have some extra drives um, for um, to downloads and stuff. You end up with uh, huge numbers of ISOs from Microsoft and stuff with various operating systems and what have you. And it's good to have that on, having throwing those on sort of a cheap mechanical hard drive, uh, and I have a, a drive for doing backups. It's an external drive uh, for backing up the machine. Uh, which you should do. Uh, it's not a good idea to just rely on uh, your, your version control system for uh, keeping a backup of everything. Um, uh, installing Delphi is uh, quite painful, I find. Um, Delphi itself is fine, but all the uh, third-party components um, is uh, not not fun. So uh, just being able to re-image the entire machine back on onto a hard drive is, is quite quite handy. Um, yeah, memory-wise, uh, eight gigabytes is, is yeah. I think I've already mentioned it's, it's probably sufficient. Um, I, I quite like having sixteen, um, and I, I don't think you probably get too much benefit from having more. But um, particularly with the, the the price of memory at the moment, but um, yeah, having thirty-two gigs is probably um, a bit excessive. But if you're doing developing sixty-four-bit applications that that use huge amounts of memory, then then why not? Um, uh, the other thing which you, you can't see is uh, the sort of um, mouse and keyboard. Um, I, I bought from AliExpress a cheap uh, gaming mouse, which is what I'm what I'm using, uh, which is way better than a you know your standard Microsoft or Logitech cheap uh, entry level mouse. Um, I think I paid about sixteen dollars or something like that for it. Um, but yeah, if you want to spend the sort of you know um, fifty or hundred dollars on some fancy Logitech or Microsoft uh, mouse, then uh, go ahead. Um, in terms of a keyboard, I've just got a Microsoft ergonomic keyboard. Um, I've been wondering about replacing it with a, uh, a mechanical keyboard of some kind, but I haven't uh, I haven't taken the plunge as yet. Uh, I should probably give it a go. Um, I sort of this is sort of my uh, work machine. Um, for my home machine, I have uh, an i7, which I'm in the process of upgrading to a 14-core um, Xeon, which I, I, I bought off eBay, um, and which is a bit of a beast, uh, way overkill for uh, development, but um, yeah, a bit of fun for uh, playing around with the multi-threaded stuff. Um, so I've uh, rambled on probably long enough. Um, one thing I will mention if you're quick enough, um, I believe there's uh, Embarcadero Academy uh, have got a um, a sale on at the moment, um, so 23% off, um, oh, let's, let's grab my one, it's 23% off uh, the Learn Delphi TV Mega Pack, um, so save, save a bit of money. Uh, on that potentially, so I don't know if you need to uh, copy that uh, URL or not, but um, it's uh, it's probably going to expire uh, shortly because it's only so you know Delphi's um, 23rd birthday. Uh, well, yesterday for me, it might still be for you. Uh, I'm, I'm here in New Zealand, so we've got sort of the the, the first first time zone. Um, so yeah, I've, I've uh, rented on long enough. Um, I will hopefully uh, start having discussing about the kind of programming I'm I'm using um, I'm doing uh, 
in, in future videos uh, and sort of so the the, uh, I don't know, the fun I'm having with uh, getting things running on Android ported across from the VCL. So um, I'm Alistair Christie, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.